today, an investigation that will make you look at your microwave in a whole new light. We are revealing five things you should never microwave and one thing you always should. My viewers all around the country, right? They're all waiting by their favorite kitchen tool, eager to find out. Take a look at why you need to think twice about what you decide to nuke. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Scary stuff. Now, most of you know not the microwave foil, but there are five things you may be microwaving right now that you shouldn't be. Joining me now is a five-star chef who isn't afraid to say, <laughs> is afraid to say he turns to his microwave when he is in a pinch. Chef Robe Ali, thank you very much for being with us. Love being with you. I never thought you'd be using a microwave, but you've turned my mind completely around this. We're going to talk about things we do not want to nuke. Mm -hmm. First off, raw kale. What is that about? We caught some sparks on tape. What makes my favorite green flammable? Well, I'm 99% sure that it's the metal, right? Yes. There's, there's lots of uh, minerals like iron, magnesium, right? So the way that a microwave works is it, it, it disturbs molecules. It's friction, right? Mm -hmm. So it's making molecules rub together. So it, like if I had two big bars of iron and I could rub them long enough, they're going to get hot and start a fire. So that's happening on a micro level. Bad idea, okay? Then there's like the electrical arc theory, but that's way too nerdy to get into right now. <laughs> but leave that alone. I love kale, so yeah. there's got to be some way of dealing with kale. Yes, there are. There are a couple of ways. I would do it in, in a bowl, right? Cover it with some plastic wrap and just sneak in a little bit of hydration. So, uh, you know, that water's going to create steam. It's, it's going to keep, uh, keep that friction from happening. And how do you put out a fire? Water, boom, done. <laughs> okay, let's bring in... Yelena, Yelena has been standing by her kitchen microwave. Hi, Yelena. Thanks for joining us. All right. And uh, she's going to help us figure out something that I've been struggling by. So can you pop open your microwave and show us what's sitting in there, Yelena? Mm. Yep, I got It's a piece of bread. Mm. I've got the same thing here. Bread, mm. right? Whether it's a grilled cheese or a bun, you just want warmed up. How do we deal with bread if we want to actually microwave it or warm it up. What are your mm. thoughts? First of all, you later, what does yours taste uh, Before you taste it, what does it feel look like and feel like? Um, it looks like bread. It's rock solid. It was soft literally about a minute ago. And I don't really even know what this is. It feels like a Frisbee. Look at this. I got mine here as well. All same story was initially soft. Listen carefully. Right? That's not supposed to happen. And Petrified. see, it breaks. Petrified is the best way to describe it. Yes. Chef Robe, explain what's the best way for us to reheat bread. If you had to do it, right, uh, a wet paper towel around the outside could work. Um, and just do it real quick. Do it real quick. Or just don't do it. You know, pop it in an oven or use a toaster. Yeah. That's Microwaves, it's, it's just, you're, you're in a lose lose situation there. Daphne takes our yeah. old bread. Especially when you got something like an artisanal bread, mm -hmm. wraps it in a little moist towel, puts it in the oven for just a few minutes. Doesn't take long. Boom. You're done. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. She's, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Don't bite on that. You'll break your teeth. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> All right. Next thing you should never, ever microwave is eggs in their shell. Take a look at what happens if you try. Saying, why, would, why would anybody think that's okay? Like, you're <laughs> literally creating a bomb. That's what bombs are. They're things that are under pressure in closed environments, and they're going to They're going to blow on you, you know? Well, Gabrielle is joining us now. She's an egg lover like me, standing by her microwave. Gabrielle, why do you think the egg explosion that we just showed is happening? Dr. Oz, I have no idea. All I remember, it definitely gave me a major, major flashback that I don't ever want to relive again. So I was already running a little bit behind time for work. 
So, you know, I'm coming from my room and I'm like, okay, let me just hurry up, put something in the microwave. And of course I love my eggs in the morning. So I just grab a bowl, fill it up with water. I put the raw egg in the bowl, in the microwave. So I go, you know, go out of my room, start to get ready. All I hear is pop, 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 pop. And I'm like, no, no, no. So I just start running to the kitchen and it's a mess everywhere. I mean, yolk is everywhere. And then I'm already upset I'm like, oh man, that defeats the purpose. I'm more late for work. Exactly, more late for work. Is <laughs> so I saw one horrific headline of a woman who got a nasty burn by trying to cook eggs in her microwave. So it wasn't just messing up the kitchen, it's messing up your face. Mm. Let me show you why I'm concerned about this. Because when you eat, uh, heat up eggs in a shell in a microwave, it is creating a bomb, as mm. Chef Robles said. So you got your microwave here, right? Pretty simple for it. Microwaves, again, they send rapid pulses of waves that cause the molecules inside of anything, in this case an egg, to vibrate, right? That creates heat inside the egg. So far, so good. But the egg reaches a high temperature and a high pressure so fast, there's no time for it to allow it to vent and boom! The pressure has got to escape somewhere so it just explodes. Now, if you boil it slowly, those little holes in the egg, they, let it, you know, little, they equalize the pressure. So microwaving whole eggs, both raw and if they were previously hard boiled, can be dangerous. So instead, Chef Roulet always has a hack. Mm -hmm. You've got a way of making scrambled eggs safely in the microwave mm -hmm. without things exploding, people getting burned, etc. So, I've got the raw material here. Right. What do you got for us? Right, right. So imagine this. You have raw eggs, right? Get a fork, some eggs, milk, salt, pepper. Whisk it up. The more you whisk it up, get some, get some air in there, because that's going to expand and make it fluffy, right? Yeah. 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds. Pull it out, check it on it. I mean, it's not as good as the stove, but it won't completely suck. You know why I like it? It won't completely suck. <laughs> I love it because you don't make a big mess. Yeah, that too. Boom, you're safe. out. You're not creating a bomb, and, you know, it's... It's an honorable thing, you know. I'm, I'm kind of anti, I'm very anti-microwave, but that will work. Okay? Gabrielle, so would that get you to work on time? What do you think? Yes, it definitely will. Maybe I should have thought about that the first time. Yeah. <laughs> and no, no cleanup, no cleanup necessary. Right? <laughs> All right, next up, the food you should never be microwaving has to include this category, frozen meat. You say the microwave def de defrosts the food unevenly. We got bacteria. It can still keep growing in some areas, not others. So what's the safest way to defrost meat? Yeah, um, just real quick. We could do a whole show on just why you should never defrost meat in the microwave, right? So uh, the all-time great safest way is to do it inside of a refrigerator, right? So take it out of the freezer, put it in the, in the refrigerator. The only problem with that is it takes a long time, right? Like, I actually defrosted a lot of meat last night, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't use that method because uh, as we're standing here right now, it would still be frozen because my, my refrigerator is only two degrees above freezing, right? So there's right. not enough of a gradient in temperature to make it happen, right? So this is what I can re we'll, we'll recommend, and this is how we do it in restaurants, right? So um, with chicken, I would put it in a bowl, mm -hmm. right, um, and just run cold water over it in my, in my sink. Like when it fills up, just turn it down to a little drip, right? Right. Uh, like a little small little stream, so it's and the convection uh, uh, of the of the water uh, going over the chicken will defrost it, right? Why not hot water? Why have to use cold water? Um, because it's going it's to cook your chicken, right? And it's going to have it in what we call the danger zone for too long, and that's between 40 and 140 degrees. Bacteria love that; they're going to have a party in there, right? So you don't want that problem. Um, ground beef. I would do the refrigerator method. I would never run water over it because ground beef is just going to get watery. It's going to soak all that stuff up. You know what I love is your honesty. Just you actually tell us what chefs do. You got to keep it 100, you know? <laughs> all right. Yeah. Up next, the number one thing you should never put in the microwave. You'll be shocked by this. When you get to the bottom of a myth that has been circulating during the pandemic that just will not die, plus the very best thing that you can microwave. We've been revealing five things you should never microwave, like raw kale, I love the kale, but not raw in the microwave, bread, eggs in a shell, and frozen meats. And now it is time to reveal the final item that you should never, ever microwave. And it's not a food, my friends, but many people have been nuking it during the pandemic. It's face masks. And I'm really proud of all you at home. You're trying to make your masks work and you're doing what you can to keep yourselves and others safe. But the trend of microwaving these masks is worrying fire departments all across the country. Our senior investigative correspondent, Mars Campos, joining us now. Mar, who even thought of doing this? Where did this start from? 
Yeah, this all came from social media, which is probably not the place you want to go for your public health advice. There were a couple posts on Facebook that went viral that said a great way to sanitize your mask is to put it inside a Ziploc bag and microwave it for two to three minutes. So the thing is, it is very important to sanitize your masks, but the microwave is not the place for that. Yeah, and the reason that it's getting fire companies, departments alarmed is what? Well, there's so many reasons. First of all, fire experts say that synthetic materials can catch fire when they're put in the microwave. Even if they don't catch fire, the microwave can cause them to lose shape, it can degrade the material, and then you're wearing a mask that isn't effective at all. The second thing is a lot of masks contain metal, especially in the nose bridge, to help keep them in place. What's metal going to do in the microwave? It's going to spark, and that can set the fabric on fire. And third and most importantly, there's no evidence that this works to even sanitize your mask. So you're taking <laughs> this huge risk of setting your house on fire for nothing. But I get the desire to sanitize the thing closest to your face in the middle of COVID. So explain the best way, the, the way that, that everyone says we should, who knows how we should do this the right way. Yeah, and the CDC does say clearly we have to wash these cloth masks, right? One way that they recommend is hand washing. So a great way to do that is you take four teaspoons of bleach, put it in a quart of water, you soak that mask for five minutes, let it air dry, easy breezy, you're done. Or you can always throw the mask in with a load of laundry. The important thing is you just want to make sure you have a lot of masks in rotation so when you're washing some of them, you still have something to wear. Laundry is the best way to go. It's just yeah, so much easier. I do. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. All right. Now, everybody, the most moment you have been waiting for. Right, though, one thing you should always microwave, this is a kitchen hack that you will not be able to live without. I don't know why I didn't know it earlier. Chef Rolet was holding back on me. Show us the one thing we should be learning today. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is one thing you could, okay, if you were to pitch, right? And it works. It actually, it actually works, right? Some toasted almonds, right? Toasted almonds. Yes, sir. Okay, so right here, these are raw, right? And raw almonds are good, but, you know, toast a little bit and, uh, you know, it just it deepens the flavor, and uh, it's just you see how, how glossy that is. Yes. Yeah. Check that out, Doc. Check that out. Oh shoot! I'm making a it's mess. Okay. I'm making. Actually, a mess you know what? Cut me a raw one. I want to prepare it for people. So I'm, I'm I'm also really good at spilling things, guys. And making mess. You're a chef. That's no, what yeah. chefs do. I, yes. I live with some. Mm -hmm. So if you compare those, I don't know if you get a close up, everybody. Mm -hmm. You see how you can see the the roasted ones roasted on the inside. You can't even tell on the outside except there's that got that glistening color all the mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna make a little photo oh, up here. Glistening. Look at this. Look at this. Glistening. Now, are you compare listening? them? Now here's the thing. I know some of you purists are gonna say, well, the, are you hurting the healthy fats in the in the almond? The fact of the matter is you're losing maybe 10, 15 percent max. Not a big deal. If mm -hmm. you like the taste of the of the roasted version, you better to go in. If you can do it in a microwave, that mm -hmm. changes everything because we got to put them in a pan usually. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the ultimate, you know, but like, let's say you're a college student or, you know, you're or, just a, or a, a mom rush, or a mom. So yeah. How do you do it, actually? Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, that's a real job being a mom. Like. No, but how do you do it? How long do you put them in there for? Oh, OK. So you just uh, you can put them in as is. Uh, give them about uh, two and a half, three minutes. That's right? it? Yeah. Yeah. A little it, olive it oil on them? Be, it could be less. So, yeah, I would. I would, I would definitely hit them with some olive oil, and then the natural oils come out, and that's what you see right here. Those are the natural oils that are here. Get a shot here, but these things yeah. are beautiful. That's what they yeah. taste like, too. That, Imagine that's that your no mouth. olive oil. That's without any olive oil. Are you kidding me? Those, those are just the natural oils that come out of the olive oil. Oh, my out, goodness. Out of, the, out of the almond, rather. Yeah. All right, perfect. Now, the other thing you want us to learn about microwaving also gets a crunchy mm -hmm. breadcrumbs. Yes, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. So these right here, uh, these are untoasted. Toasted. <laughs> <laughs> Right? So uh, That's right. pop it in there. You, you caught that one. Uh, so you pop it in the microwave. Uh, I give it about 30 seconds. Check it. You know, play it by ear because some microwaves are stronger than others, right? Yeah. And then, you know, give it another 30. Check it again. You know, and just, you know, kind of use your instincts and, you know, you, you'll smell it. You know, that, you know that toasty smell. Yeah. I love having you on the show. I love being on here, man. It's been too long. <laughs> All right. We're going to post our list of five things you should never microwave and one you should always on our website. We'll be right back. Be nice to be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.